Hello, my name is Keith Rucker. Thought I'd make just a real quick short video to show you uh, some of the GoPro mounts uh, that I got uh, set up here out in the shop uh, over the weekend. Uh, as some of you probably saw, I, I got this little GoPro camera uh, for Christmas this year that I'm planning on using here in the shop uh, to shoot videos with a little small, uh, real small camera, real shoots high def, uh, really nice, used a lot by the uh, action adventure guys. They'll strap one of these to their helmet or a chest or on the end of their skateboard or surfboard or whatever and, and use it to film uh, that kind of stuff. But uh, they really work great. You can set these on the, the mill or lathe or whatever and get some nice good close-up shots. It comes in a waterproof case that you can take it out of or use with to use it or not use it. But anyway, I, I picked one of these up to kind of use as a second camera in the shop. and. Uh, uh, but I needed to do some mounts so that I could use it really uh, in the machine shop. And it comes with all kinds of mounts, but mostly, again, geared toward strapping it to your helmet or your head or your chest or a skateboard or something like that. Not more for what we're using it for. So uh, I know Adam Booth, uh, he uses a GoPro. There's a couple other guys that use a GoPro. I asked Adam how he mounted his, and I've seen this in a couple of videos, but he actually uses a uh, indicator uh, stand. Uh, he uses uh, a uh, his uh, Noga holder. I, I don't. I, I use my Noga holder too much on my indicator, but this is a Starrett, an old style. And I, for right now, anyway, I'm going to use this one. I may eventually get a, a Noga just for the the GoPro, but for right now, uh, that's what I'm doing. You know, with with Adam, what he did was he took the the back off of an indicator that he had. Uh, I've got one laying here. Uh, he faced the top of this and just used a little sticker, that little sticky camera mount that you get to go on a flat surface, and, and that's what he uses. I've got an indicator back, but man, that's thin metal. And by the time I faced that off, I just, I just really wasn't too happy with it. So I had a couple pieces of scrap metal, just a piece of, a, of a, looks like quarter inch steel or maybe a three sixteenths inch steel. Uh, this was literally just sitting over in the cutoff bin. Uh, it was that size. I didn't change it or anything. I had a little piece of angle iron that I found in the in the scrap bucket as well. I already had the hole in it. Uh, I did have to, to trim it down a little bit, but I just welded a little angle piece on there. Let me get a little bit closer. Hopefully you can see this. So I welded that little angle on there and I put the little sticky mount on there. So now I can put this on my indicator holder and the camera uh, just mounts right on there and uh, now I can put that on my machines. Um, also, um, uh, on my camera I got this uh, little tripod mount uh, that goes on the bottom of the camera that has a quarter twenty uh, hole in it that you use for mounting on a tripod. Uh, and that's one of the, the ones that I purchased and I, I, I made this little C-clamp here. I just took a, a cheap C-clamp uh, out of the scrap bucket or whatever, uh, two and a half inch C clamp, and I welded some quarter, or actually brazed because this was cast iron, but I brazed on here three quarter twenty bolts in different places, and uh, now I can take the C clamp and clamp it to something, and using that uh, tripod mount, mount the camera, uh, just screw it on here and uh, you can tighten that bolt up on the bottom there to position it where you want or that nut and uh, anyway now I got something that I can clamp and have a pretty solid uh, uh, fixture to hold it. I actually shot some video yesterday on the steam locomotive it's gonna take me a while to edit that guys uh, but uh, hopefully in, the, in a week or two I can post that up on the uh, YouTube for you guys to see but man this little C clamp mount really worked good for that. Uh, I know they make a little plastic uh, clamp thing that has a, a adjustable strap that you can put on it, but on the train, you know, there's so much vibration, I was just worried about that. This makes a very rigid mount, and uh, I'm, I was real happy with that. And again, that was something, you know, a little clamp that came out of the toolbox and some quarter 20 bolts, real super simple. So anyway, uh, I used uh, my GoPro for doing my over-the-head shots with this mount uh, mounted on a on a uh, piece of lumber shooting straight down over my head. Uh, that's how I, I shot uh, the toolbox shots in my toolbox video uh, using this this mount right here. And uh, anyway, I thought I would share those for the GoPro users out there. 